Hi, my name is Beth, and I work in the marketing and advertising departments at The Courier. Part of my job involves designing ads for the newspaper, magazines, and various print publications at The Courier. We're excited your class is participating in this year's Design and Ad Project. We hope you have fun creating your ad, and remember, your ad could be chosen as one of the winning ads in this year's Design and Ad publication in The Courier. So let's get started. Today I will be providing you with information and tips to help you in designing your ad for one of the participating local businesses. In today's video, we will be covering the following items. Instructions to guide you through the rules of design an ad, logos and branding, project layout form, and 10 tips for creating ads that work. So let's get started on the following design and ad instructions. All ads must fit within the lines of the design and ad layout form. We will go over the project layout form later in the video. You may use colored markers, bright crayons, and felt tip pens to create your ad or fill in your drawing. Find out as much as you can about the business. You may want to even visit the store. Spell the name of the business correctly. Put the correct address, phone number, and website in your ad. And do not use prices in your ad or advertise a specific sale. You may want to practice on scratch paper first. Decide where the business name, address, and phone number will go before drawing your ad. It's a good idea to have one main idea or drawing be the center or focus of your ad. Now, draw your best idea on the contest entry form as neatly as possible. When your ad is complete, make sure it is in final form with correct spelling, grammar, and no eraser marks. You may want to even have a teacher or classmate read your ad before you turn it in to make sure there are no spelling errors. When your ad is done, print your name, school, city, teacher, grade, age, parent's name, home phone, and the advertiser name on your form. Turn your completed form into your teacher. The business your class is matched with will then pick one ad to appear in the Design and Ad section of the Courier on Sunday, April 24th. Do your best work and they might pick your ad. And don't forget, have fun and be creative. Let's go over the two types of logos. There's the actual logo and a hand-drawn logo. Check with your teacher to see if the business's actual logo must be used or whether you can draw it freehand. You may use any suggestions made by the business. As you can see below, the ad on the left used the business's actual logo, while the ad on the right was hand-drawn by a student. The business's actual logo will be provided to you by your teacher. When designing ads, it is important that the business's logo and brand or identity are represented in the ad. This helps customers easily recognize the business and their products or services. Effective branding allows you to differentiate yourself from other businesses, develop loyalty with your customers, position yourself clearly in the minds of others, focus your message and your mission, and project credibility. Be sure to pay close attention to the business's guidelines. For example, if they are a furniture store and want you to center the ad around their couches and chairs, don't use beds in the ad. If you have any questions at all, be sure to ask your teacher if your design fits within the business's guidelines. We want to give the advertiser just what they are looking for. Plus, the closer you stay to the business's guidelines, the better chance you have of winning. Now let's test how well you know the following logos and brands. Name the logos as they appear on the screen. If you were able to correctly guess all six logos, good job. These businesses' logos are easy to recognize because they do a really good job of marketing and advertising their brand. Now let's go over the design and ad project layout form. When designing your ad, it's important to include the following four things in your ad. Number one, a graphic. Number two, a headline. Number three, copy or text and number four, their logo. The design and ad below includes all four parts of an ad. 
Can you find and name each part? Also, don't forget to use lots of color in your ad. No black and white ads are allowed. Now it's time to go over some tips for creating ads that work. Number one, use a simple layout. Number two, make one picture or drawing the center or focus of your ad. Number three, every ad should be a complete sales pitch for the business's products or services. Number four, promise the reader a benefit. Every headline should appeal to the reader's self-interest, answering the question, what will this do for me? Why should I be interested? And number five, get straight to the point. Be specific, factual, and complete. Make sure customers have all the details. Number six, include testimonials once in a while in your ad. The reader finds it easier to believe the endorsement of a fellow customer. Number seven, give the reader helpful advice or a service. Number eight, don't be afraid to use cliches like how to, last chance, now, amazing, and announcing. They have been around forever, but they always work. Number nine, use crisp, direct language, short sentences, and simple words. Read your copy aloud and hear how it sounds. Number 10, make sure the name, address, phone number, and website of the business are easy to read and find. The Courier would like to thank you for participating in this year's Design and Ad Project. Have fun and good luck.